Hello again, fourth graders. This is Orion with the Snake River Fund. I hope you all enjoyed that little informational video. Uh, what we're going to try to do now is uh, try our hand at building our own little model beaver dam. So there's a couple things we're going to need. In your box, you should find some styrofoam trays, some air dry clay, and some popsicles. All right. If you guys have the time, I also suggest that you take a second to go outside and look around for some materials that you think might be found in a beaver dam. So I have here some rocks, some sticks, and some dried plant material. And what I'm gonna do now is try to build a dam like a uh, beaver would on this tray and see if I can get it to be watertight. So I'm molding my air dry clay and putting it right about middle in the middle of my styrofoam tray. And this air dry clay is representative of the mud that beavers would use to build their dam. So I'm just kind of layering things here. Okay, I'm starting to have what I think looks like a pretty solid dam. It doesn't have to be perfect, remember, um, Beavers are always improvising when it comes to their dams. And uh, what I'm going to try to do now is uh, see if my dam holds back water. So I got some water here. I'm going to pour it on one side and see if I can get it to stay on the side I pour it into without flowing through to the other side. Now it looks like I have a little bit of leakage, but we have to remember that's okay because beaver dams don't completely stop water. Uh, they do let a little bit of water to flow through and that helps with fl uh, the filtration that you all learned about uh, during the video. So good luck with your dams. If you feel like a lot of water is getting through, um, just try to rebuild it, uh, redo the layers and see if you can get it to be a little bit more watertight. Hope you enjoyed the lesson, y'all.